at some point you just have to laugh. <laughs> like at some point it just gets, uh, it's so ridiculous. But I think, I mean I could point to all the obvious lessons that you don't want to leave important, you don't want important but not urgent problems out there hanging. And you know, we had known that our board had gotten too small and we knew that we didn't have the level of experience we needed. But last year was such a wild year for us in so many ways that we sort of just neglected it. I think one more important thing though um, is as the world gets closer to AGI, um, the stakes, the stress, the level of tension, um, that's all going to go up. And for us this was a microcosm of it, but probably not the most stressful experience we ever face. Um, and one thing that I've sort of observed for a while is every one step we take closer to very powerful AI, um, everybody's, everybody's character gets like plus 10 crazy points. It's a very stressful thing and it should be because we're trying to be responsible about very high stakes. And so I think that as, I think one lesson um, is as we get, we the whole world uh, get closer to very powerful AI, I expect more strange things and having a higher level of preparation, more resilience, um, more time spent thinking about all of the strange ways things can go wrong, um, that's really important. Well, I don't think they're guaranteed to be wrong. I mean, I think there's a spirit, there, there's a part of it that's right, which is this is, this is a technology that is clearly very powerful and that we, we don't know, we cannot say with certainty exactly what's going to happen. And that's the case with you know, all, all new major technological revolutions. But it's easy to imagine with this one um, that it's going to have like massive effects on the world and that it could go very wrong. Um, the, the technological direction that we've been trying to push it in is one that we think we can make safe. And that includes a lot of things. It's, um, we believe in iterative deployment, so we put this technology out into the world uh, along the way so people get used to it so we have time as a society, our institutions have time to have these discussions, figure out how to regulate this, how to put some guardrails in place. If you look at the progress from GPT-3 to GPT-4 about how well it can uh, align itself to a set of values, um, we've made massive progress there. Now, there's a harder question than the technical one, which is who gets to decide what those values are and what the defaults are, what the bounds are, how does it work in this country versus that country, what am I allowed to do with it versus not. Um, so that's a big societal question, uh, you know, one of the biggest.